So in this problem, um, we're given a regular polygon and then a single point, um, a regular pentagon, and a single point that is inscribed on the circle. And we just claim that that point is between P and P. And if we draw in from P to the five vertices, this relationship holds. The sum of the distance from PA to PD is going to be equal to the sum of the distances from P to the other three points. So to prove this, we're actually going to use Ptolemy's theorem twice, and we're going to use something we proved in a previous problem that had to do with an isosceles triangle inscribed uh, in a circle. So let's start with that. Um, that theorem says if you have an isosceles triangle, so for instance, in this problem, ED and EC are congruent because they are um, both diagonals of a pentagon and all the diagonals of a pentagon are congruent. If you have that, then there is this nice relationship, um, and that nice relationship is PE, the long distance, the distance from the point to the vertex, over the sum of that point to the other two vertices of that triangle is equal to, well, the um, length of the leg over the length of the face. So we get this nice relationship where we can relate PE to PB and PC, and then that equals BE, BE over BC. Um, and if you cross multiply, which is what we're going to need, you end up with this. So that's our first step using something that we proved previously, which is that, that theorem right there. Then we're going to use Ptolemy's. And um, when you do these problems, oftentimes you've got to try uh, different things out until you figure out which um, four points are going to be good to use as our cyclic quadrilateral. In this case, the first one we're going to do is A, B, C, D. We're going to use that cyclic quadrilateral. The diagonals are A, P, which is nice because we need that, and B, C, which is the side length. So by Ptolemy's, we're going to have A, B times, well, opposite of that is C, C, plus P, B times A, C. So the product of the opposite sides. Uh, if you add those together, that equals the product of diagonals, which is PA times PC. Then that one comes from this. And then from this one, we're going to do the same thing, except that instead of including A, we're going to include B. And it's basically the exact same picture, just on the other side of the point. And so on that one, because um, we're going to end up adding these together, it's going to be PB times CB plus um, PC times CB equals PD times BC. Okay, if you add these together, first thing you notice is AB and CD are both side lengths, so they're congruent to each other, so I'm just going to call them both AB. If I add these two equations together, if I add this part, I get AB. If I factor that out of both of those, I get a PC plus PB, which is good because I need a PC plus PB here. Then, if I realize that AC and BD are both diagonals in the pentagon, so they're congruent to each other, so I'm just going to call them AC, both AC, then I'm also going to have another PB plus PC, which is a little bit confusing, because we don't need two PB plus PCs, we need PE, but we'll get back to that. And then if I add this side together, then I, um, I get BC times PA plus PB. Finally, I'm actually very close. Um, if you notice, I've got an AB here and a BC here, which they could cancel out because they're both side lengths. But instead of doing that, um, right away, I'm going to recognize that BE is a diagonal. So PE, BE times PB plus BC is just this. And so I can substitute in. Let me write this out real quick. I can substitute this, PE times BC, in for... AC diagonal times the sum of PB plus PC. Now, all three of these um, terms are multiplied by a side length, so we can cancel those side lengths out, and that leaves us with PC plus PB plus PE equals PA plus PB, which is exactly what we are trying to prove. 